Nice, thank you. Ah, no problem. I mean, we can redo it. I just wanted to uh, put get light. See, I want you're trying to make it brighter. Down in the crevasse here. This is, of course, Beginner's Chasm, kind of a nickname I gave it, just because it's right here at the beginning. Uh, I've been hiding hundreds of chests down here, um, doing it again. And uh, this time I'm actually going to build a little bridge down here. Yeah, and I, I, I found him. I thought of a good yeah, I thought of a good way to make my the enter, like a room in my dungeon. Like it'll be a it'll be like where they have to jump down for, on brick onto like a block on the wall and like jump to the next block without falling into lava. Oh yeah, that's cool. Like going downwards to like just straight over lava. Oh, I was saying earlier too. I started using um, silverfish brick to replace stuff down in the ground, so it looks like normal rock, but when they break it, silverfish will pop up. It seemed like a great way to keep them on their toes and not always having to be there spawning enemies. So like literally just I tore down like 20 brick and then in random areas and just put it it's gonna be hit or miss but it's so you don't have to be there to do it it's kind of nice redstone lanterns also like right here they're gonna see the bridge and they're like oh there's just like a piece of stone in my way I'll break it oh it's a silverfish ah but I'm on the very edge oh no <laughs> Oh, that silverfish just broke a rock. There's just so many ideas. Yeah. Crazy. Well, so, some ideas I'm I I can get from God of War too, because there there are some puzzles in it that you have to do. Well, I've definitely been inspired to build just don't what. Copy YouTubers. Well, you know, it's no, it's about you know, this is a big enough world with enough projects that you can pretty much do anything you want. You know what I mean, like. There's there's enough fucking projects here to, you know, keep us all busy for months on end, even after the adventurers come in. And then as DDMs, Dragon Dungeon Masters, uh, we're going to have to, you know, continually keep playing, too. So there's a lot to do. There's a lot. I mean, just, just coming down here in these chasms, you could spend a couple weeks just putting out stuff. I can't even explain how excited I am. It's, I'm gonna try to make a, I mean, a it's sticky piston. Kind of childish how excited I am, but it's like awesome. No, nothing wrong. Like, it's, like it's, I said, it's, we're it's getting to awesome build the creative awesome stuff, like, yeah. but without having to, you know, fucking earn it and grind it up and i don't say that in a bad way because i like that too i love that bragging right but it's obviously after months and months and months of streaming minecraft and putting all this time and effort into um trying to do that the slow way it wasn't working and people were getting burnt out we kept trying to build cities that we could you know build into this but we just you know we were getting burnt out before we ever got to it well, if that's not working, try something else. That's what we be doing now, bitches. And unfortunately, the people that don't get to build are going to have an amazing time, though. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> playing in it. Fucking with adventurers. Lifelong dream. Here, calm your tits. Calm your tits, bro. <laughs> <coughs> They don't want to <laughs> You guys should see what I just did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, you, you, you really need to come see what I just built. Let I'm right outside the city. Alright, All right, so I can... I, I just want to finish this up real quick. I want you guys to come to where I am at and land and be an adventurer for a second. I'll be right back. Like I said, you really make sure after you do something, you, you land on foot and kind of play like an adventurer. <clears throat> no, come over here, pro. This is where I'm at. Come over here. You're going to ruin it all. Get over here. Not ruin it by destroying it, but the experience. All right, so I'm come here. No fear. Like I said, come here. Come behind me. You just did it too. Come on, kids. All right, so you come over here. You're an adventurer. You're like, oh, I see a bridge, right? I'm crouched down so I don't fall off the edge, but I can't get there. So you break these. Oh no, there's silverfish bricks. Oh, which I'll put back. Scared the thing. <laughs> now, now you're over here. Now go ahead and hit the switch. 
and try to walk across. The center one didn't go for some reason, but... Oh, you need one more. Yeah. So there. Check that out. It's <laughs> nice. I like that. Yeah. Just a little something. It's just... I just wanted to build a bridge so they could get across. But, you know, make it a little more fun. Super simple. Not a, not a, not a secret you know, trap or anything. Now down the road, I might do something with pressure plates that when they step on it, it like opens the bridge and like, you know, they fall. I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna play around, but these chasms and schisms and big crevasses are a great place to come. Also, you know, like I love to hide shit near lava. So like up here by the, the high lava waterfall, I'm gonna just dig in here a little bit with the brick and uh, put a chest. I've been marking my chest with like light green clay sometimes, or like a, a dab of redstone makes a little red X on it. I put a really interesting one somewhere. I don't remember where it was, but it was in the desert. Like, but like someone, it caught, caught someone's eye, it's interesting. Nice. So I'm putting a bunch of potions in this one. <clears throat> and I'll put some, of course, iron pickaxe and some food. Just simple stuff. You know, you think it's really amazing, but they could just fall and die right after this. So you never, you know, can be gone. <laughs> There's lava right behind them. You don't know. And like I said, people have been using like kind of this off gray or like blue clay to kind of mark treasure. You know, so players will know to kind of keep their eye for clay, colored clay blocks. It's just a nice, easy way. You know, there's a couple chests over here, as you can see. Not that hard to make these things into big, fun little, like, caverns and dungeons. Not that they can't just jump over that bridge, you know. You know, like I said, you can only make it. You can't force people to play a certain way. If they're gonna end up doing it, they're gonna end up doing it. Nice. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different ways. Don't forget a great conductor, redstone, and wool will conduct. I mean, gravel drops, but iron's the best thing to put on them because it folds up and goes into the ground. That's why it just works so nicely. But you can also use uh, sand or gravel and regular pistons, and when they drop, this, the gravel just drops, make like a solid gravel. But you know, iron's stronger than gravel and sand, so. <clears throat> you could do sticky pistons with like bedrock that just pull down. Make them nice tables. I hate the pressure plate tables. Make them like marbled pillar with quartz slab or something, just so we don't have that constant clicking of the pressure plates. No, these are ghetto. You should do redstone lanterns. Those are. 
but like with like with like redstone connecting them. Well, we can we'll, well we'll connect them later with like to one switch. I know how to do that. Yeah. Like I said, doing I rather build a building than fine tune it. When people try to build like it and fine tune it at the same time. I just needed enough. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's all good. You can also just put beacons down, like I said, inside the buildings. That's totally legit. The city is wired. Yeah, I plan on it. <clears throat> I'm gonna build the gladiator pits. Hang on, area. Actually, the uh, the quartz pillars, the marble pillars, look kind of like it has a tablecloth on it. As long as there's a the big the big thing is there has to be like three or four beds. Whoops. Three three's all that needs to be, you know. It can be one floor yeah. per bed. It can be three one floor with just three little rooms, with just enough room for like a table, a chest, or like a cauldron of water, like a wash sink, and a chest, you know. Yeah. So, so so people oh, literally right. have a place, yeah. but it's you don't have to put like ender chests in the room. But you can too. Like I said, ender chests aren't a rare item anymore. They're a save spot kind of, and um, you know it's nice to have them in the bank so people always know where hell? to go. But what? I just broke a wood block and a freaking silverfish came out. What? Is there silverfish I... wood? No. What the? No. That scared me. Is there silverfish wood? That There's a lot of silverfish weird. brick. I know that. It's like two or three There's times. There's not. That's, that was sure? scared me. I was, yes, positive. I just looked over it twice, and there's none. Creepy. <laughs> or maybe I accidentally made all of the walls in here. Made up. <laughs> hey, it, it uh, discerns people from destroying shit. Yep, that, that's the other side here. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like I said, I wish you could put zombie cages down. I found one of the random zombie spawners. A skeleton spawner. I like totally just made the chest like way better though. But like really big. <laughs> I put some Raven's Brew. Infinite experience bottles. <laughs> 